So theory of machine, session two mechanical engineering. So this question was asked for two marks. If you look at the question in a cam follower mechanism, the follower raises H as the cam rotates by delta radians at a constant angular velocity omega. So he's saying when the cam rotates so by delta radians, so this follower raises by distance H and the cam is rotating with a constant angular velocity. So the next is, so the follower is rising with uniform acceleration during first half of race and with uniform deceleration during second half of race. The maximum velocity of the follower is. In this question, he is saying that, so the follower is rising up so with uniform acceleration for first half of the race and it is rising the remaining half of the race so with uniform deceleration. So this kind of motion, so we call it as a parabolic motion or uniform acceleration, uniform deceleration motion. So I am plotting this displacement versus time curve or displacement graph so for this uh, cam follower mechanism for one race. So he is saying that, so first half of the race it is undergoing uniform acceleration, so the displacement graph looks something like this and second half of the time, so it is undergoing uniform deceleration. So these are two parabolas, so this is how the motion is, it is a parabolic motion. So I can write like this, so displacement of the follower y as a function of cam rotation, so I can write like this, so s is, so u2 plus half a t square. So if I assume initial velocity is 0, so this quantity becomes 0, initial velocity of the follower is 0. So displacement, here displacement is a displacement for the follower, so we indicated that with y. So it's half a t square, so it's nothing but acceleration is constant, why because, so first half of the race is uniform acceleration. Therefore I can say it's some constant times, so this theta, I, time I can write it as theta square. He's saying that the cam is rotating with an uniform acceleration. Since the uh, uniform velocity, since the cam is rotating with uniform velocity, I can say like this, displacement of the cam will be, so omega times t. Since omega is constant, I can say theta is directly proportional to time. So I replace this time coordinate with theta, so it's theta square. So here, for the cam follower mechanism, so it's a parabolic motion, I can say displacement is some constant times theta square. This is displacement, some constant times theta square. This is how the motion is happening, follower motion. So here I want to find out velocity of the follower, maximum velocity of the follower. And you can easily say where does maximum velocity happen. Here you can see here, so it's uniform acceleration. First half of his, half of the motion is uniform acceleration. Since it is uniform acceleration, velocity of the follower will be continuously increasing, so till this point. Later it's uniform deceleration, velocity will be decreasing. I can say like this, it's accelerating through this first half, therefore I can say maximum velocity happens at the midpoint of race. So this entire race, so I am calling, we call it as a lift. So the distance travelled by the cam, we call it as lift. This is the total race. So this is the lift. Lift is given as H. An angle rotated by the cam, so for one complete rotation, so we call this as race theta ra, but here it is given as delta in the question. So when theta becomes equal to theta ra by 2, so at this point, so at the midpoint of the race, so velocity will be maximum. So this distance will be h by 2. This distance is h by 2. When theta is theta ri by 2, so displacement of the follower will be h by 2. When theta is theta ri, displacement of the follower will be lift. So at this point, when theta becomes equal to theta ri by 2, so maximum velocity will happen. So we need to calculate velocity at this point. First let us calculate this constant. So this constant c I can write like this. So I know one condition, the condition is like this. So when theta becomes equals to theta ri by 2, so if you look at y, y is h by 2. So y is h by 2, so when this theta is, so theta ri by 2, theta ri by 2 whole square. So from here I can get the value of this constant c, so it's nothing but 2 times h, so divided by theta ri square, this is the constant. Now I got this constant, so I can write the displacement of the follower as a function of crank rotation displacement of the follower as a function of cam rotation some constant times it's 2h so into so theta by so theta ri whole square this is displacement of the of follower as a function of cam rotation i want to find out velocity velocity i can write like this it's nothing but it's dy by dt gives velocity of the follower 
So velocity of the follower I can write like this. This is 2 h. So it's theta r h square. So differential of theta square is 2 times theta into d theta by so dt. So theta is displacement of the cam. This is displacement of the cam and this is displacement of the follower. So theta is displacement of the cam. So d theta by dt is nothing but velocity of the cam. Velocity of the follower will be it's 2 times h. So into 2 I can say it's 4h. So 4h into so omega into theta so divided by so theta r i square. This is velocity of the follower. And if you want to maximize this function, just differentiate this with respect to theta and equate it to zero. So you will get one value of theta where the velocity is maximum. Okay. So but generally velocity will be maximum, it's uniform acceleration. So since it's uniform acceleration, so velocity will be continuously increasing as you are rotating the cam, first half of the race. Therefore, I can say from here to here it is continuously accelerating. Therefore, I can say at this point you will be having maximum velocity. Maximum velocity happens so when so theta is so theta r i by 2 exactly at the midpoint of race, half of the race. I am substituting this theta as theta r i by 2. So if I substitute theta as theta r i by 2, so maximum velocity will be it's 2 times h so into so this is omega so divided by so theta r i this is the maximum velocity of the follower in the question he gave it's like this it's 2 times h divided by in the place of theta r i so he gave it as delta so this is the maximum velocity of the follower so in a uniform uh, acceleration uniform deceleration motion this we also call it as a parabolic motion